this summer, we attended the London International Youth Science Forum, which is a two-week residential event held at Imperial College London. It's attended by over 300 participants with ages ranging from 15 to 21 from 45 different countries, including Australia, China, Pakistan and Kuwait. The forum was an amazing opportunity to meet inspirational young scientists from around the world and learn about their cultures and ideas. Many of the students there had competed in competitions to attend and some presented the projects that had won them their place on the forum. These range from cancer treatments and the discovery of exoplanets to a new form of universal sign language which incorporated modern technologies such as the Xbox. We attended some incredible lectures over the two weeks. One talked about graphene, which despite being the hardest known material and the first ever two-dimensional object, can be made at home using a pencil and a roll of sticky tape, which was exactly what the Nobel Prize winning scientists did to discover it. At Electron Particle Physics, we were amazed to find out that a typical speck of dust you see in the air is halfway in size between the Earth and a subatomic particle. This fact made us realise how incredible research work is at labs, including CERN. One memorable lecture looked at soap bubbles and their surprising uses. We learned that soap bubbles are used to design road networks, as they naturally find the shortest path between any number of points. Many of the lectures were very interactive, with lecturers who were leaders in their chosen fields. The light lectures were especially interesting, with one professor even showing us how to stand out in a nightclub using UV light, which he demonstrated with the help of UV body paint and snap jewellery. As a finale, he showed the darkened hall the words, fancy a pint pet, glowing from his chest, adding an entertaining twist to the lecture. Lectures like this highlighted the fun side of science and changed the way we perceived many topics for the better. Many lectures looked at worldwide issues that are threatening our current lifestyles, including the depletion of water sources and our ever-expanding population. To put into perspective how big our current population is, we were told that 10% of all humans ever born are alive at this very moment. Some questions that arose from this included how are we going to house more people and where are we going to find new energy sources to provide for them? Space exploration was another topic we looked at. I was lucky enough to visit the Mullard Space Science Laboratory in Surrey, where we saw machinery used in space exploration. We also found out some amazing facts about space, including the fact that a neutron star is so dense that just a thimbleful would weigh the same as 12 million elephants. Other trips included the Jill Dando Institute of Security and Crime Science, where we looked at the science behind crime and how it can be analysed and prevented. We also went to the National Physical Laboratory, where we saw the official UK kilogram and an acoustical project they're working on at the moment that measures the sound different size bubbles make. There was a great social side to the forum, including the LICEF Olympics and the International Cabaret. There was, we had great fun taking part in the UK entry to the Songs of Home, represent our country are very well with a not so traditional One Direction Spice Girls mashup. The forum was an eye opening experience in many ways. It made us realise just how fundamental science is to so much in our lives and things we took for granted before, such as colour, light and measurement, we now saw in new and exciting ways. But most of all, it made us realise how it is us, as the young scientists of today, that we must work together to solve the problems of tomorrow. Thank you. <laughs>